This is your basic car. It's got four wheels, an engine, and well, it pretty much drives as you would expect. Yeah, exactly as I expect. Now, this is the car that ChatGPT made. Let's just say it's a special car. Good day to you, ChatGPT. I'm here to help you with any questions or concerns you may have. What can I do to assist you today? Well, ChatGPT, I hope you've been brushing up on your automotive knowledge because you're building a car today. That sounds like a fun project. Oh, okay. I have prepared a prompt for you earlier. ChatGPT, I want you to design a never-before-seen vehicle unlike anything that's ever rolled off the showroom floor before. Use your advanced AI gigabrain to come up with each component and each idea as I list it out to you. But first, we must design a render using an AI image generator for what this car is going to look like. I mean, that's how every good project starts, uh, a concept, an idea. So we'll have ChatGPT start by describing the front of the vehicle, specifically headlights, grill, fog lights, any kind of decorative features. Oh god, ChatGPT is already going off the deep end here. A crystal-like material that refracts and directs light in a more efficient manner. Okay. Come on, ChatGPT, you just made that up. Hexaflow grill design, it even named it. Hexagonal cells that open or close depending on the engine's cooling needs. ChatGPT, do you know how much this is gonna cost? The fog lights will be integrated into the grill's hexagonal cells. Carbon fiber splitter, wow, all right. So this thing is going to be sporty, sporty appearance. All right. Really, ChatGPT, an exclusive morphing spectrum paint. A combination of advanced pigments and nano technology. Nanotechnology? What do you think I am, ChatGPT? Listen, ChatGPT, I want to see a side profile of this vehicle. Door handles, mirrors. What's the body style? Oh, oh my god, it's it's gonna combine elements of a Koopa hatchback and a crossover. I knew it was gonna pick something that kind of like an SUV. So, essentially, Tesla handles. Instead of traditional side mirrors, you're implementing digital wing mirrors? Oh god, so you're using compact high-def cameras mounted, so you just have a camera screen instead of a real mirror. Alright, finally, let's finish off with the rear of the vehicle. Uh, why is ChatGPT so extra? 3D holographic taillights? I mean, that's ridiculous. Carbon fiber rear diffuser. Oh my gosh. I gotta ask ChatGPT how much this is gonna cost because this is just crazy. Oh, it's difficult to provide an exact cost, ChatGPT. You're really gonna hit me with that? Oh, the premium or luxury segment of the market. You don't say $60,000 to $80,000 for the base model. All right, well, we're gonna take ChatGPT's design here and we're gonna visualize it using AI image generators just so we get an idea of what we're building. All right, so we've got some AI-generated designs based off of ChatGPT's prompts to go off of. And yeah, this, this looks like uh, some very futuristic cars here. Just really, really out there. And yeah, I, th I think the muscular look is definitely something that we can see in these images that ChatGPT really wanted. Not so sure about the, the headlights or the hexagonal grille or anything like that. The side profile, I mean, yeah, that is just like a crossover SUV type of thing. Pretty accurate. I mean, yeah, I like the blade wheels maybe on this one down here. That's pretty accurate to what ChatGPT really wants. And then finally, here is apparently the rear of the vehicle. And we've got like the uh, light beam across the whole rear of the vehicle and the actually the correct exhaust coming out of the bumpers themselves here in the back. Interesting futuristic design choices here made by ChatGPT. I also figured we'd let Bing Image Creator take a stab at these designs, and I gotta say that Bing Image Creator here did a pretty good job with this front end, incorporating those hexagons and the headlights and everything into the design here, although it is very mushy and gross looking. Midjourney was more coherent, but in some ways these uh, images are a lot more accurate than what we could expect out of Midjourney. And for the side profile here, we got a bunch of cutoff images, of course, because Bing is literally only a square aspect ratio. And we also got some pretty unique designs here in terms of the rear end. These are all worse than the mid-journey ones, I would say. The exhaust is coming out the, the center, though. So the next part of this is going to be the most difficult part for ChatGPT. 
it's time for ChatGPT to roll up its sleeves because we're getting into specifics. So what we have here is the most advanced car designer that I have personally ever seen. I mean, we're going to be designing everything from the engine in extreme detail here, all the way down to the very specific design of the car. And when I say we're designing it, I actually mean ChatGPT is going to be doing all of it. So ChatGPT said this thing's going to have elements of a coupe, a hatchback, and a crossover. We're literally going to pick this one because it's a two-door and it's actually an SUV with like a hatchback element. This seems to be what ChatGPT wants. And now ChatGPT gets to decide on what the car is made out of, where the engine is going to be placed, the different types of suspension that the vehicle is going to have. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you couldn't tell already, if you don't know much about automotive things, yeah, this designer is almost impossible to know how to use. All right, we're off to a great start already. Um, It's going with carbon fiber. Yes, I understand that carbon fiber offers a strong alternative to traditional steel or aluminum panels, but this thing is entering the uh, supercar territory of expensiveness. I mean, does fuel efficiency matter when you're buying a car this expensive? Oh, is going to be mid-engine. For those of you that don't know, pretty much every single vehicle on the road is front-engined. Mid-engine is typically reserved for <clears throat> supercars. Yes, hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollar vehicles oh it looks like mid-engine is not even available for uh this chassis here that we picked well we're gonna have to ask ChatGPT if it's okay with just doing a rear engine placement oh we had a network error here but we got we got our answer it's another viable option Oh, and we can't do multi-link rear like ChatGPT wants. All right, well, it looks like ChatGPT was able to compromise on that as well. All right, now here's where things get crazy. ChatGPT is going to design an engine. Out of everything in this designer, this is the most complicated and in-depth portion. It only takes a few off parameters to build an engine that doesn't work at all in this designer. It's a very tricky thing. All right, here's our first step with the engine. It wants to go with a hybrid V6 turbo engine. So for those of you who aren't familiar, this should be a pretty high performance engine. And it's also giving us the specifics, including the bore and the stroke. So this is how big the actual cylinders inside of the engine will be. The one thing here is we cannot do a hybrid engine in this designer. It's not a, an available option for us. All right, well, we have to ask ChatGPT to figure out a new option here. Oh, but wait, there's two options here, 60 degrees and 90 degrees for the V engine. Oh, and the bore and the stroke, they're in inches. Thank God we have ChatGPT here for us. Oh, it's doing the math out for us. Perfect. Again, it's really, really just picking the most expensive options for everything here. This isn't even an option in the game. And it did say it needs a small balancing mass as well. So it's picked out all the options for this one. Moving on. Oh, now it gets even more complicated here. I mean, how many of you viewers at home know what any of these mean? ChatGPT is going to pick all of these options for us. And again, I can tell you just based off of this so far, it's it's picking some pretty aggressive options. I love the explanations that it's giving us here. You guys can stop and read all of this if you want. It definitely has a pretty good knowledge of these different engine components and what they do. All right, with ChatGPT settings, we will move on. Now again, this stuff is extremely complicated and advanced. Honestly, this is where I think we're going to have some problems with ChatGPT figuring this out. So far, so good. Again, it's picking the most expensive and the best components physically available. Oh wow, it even gave us these very, very specific numbers. It really does feel like it's picking very safe options here, nothing too crazy. One difficulty with this that I'm noticing is that it's kind of hard for ChatGPT to decide on some of these variables because they're actually kind of specific to the designer. Like this is just a range from 100 to zero, from larger to smaller. ChatGPT is just gonna have to make some basic assumptions. I must say so far it's picked pretty reasonable options. And honestly, I would almost say that it's playing it safe. We'll have to see how the engine runs though. And it's given us all very 
very specific options, and here is our final engine. So here's what we got out of this thing. It makes 583 horsepower. If that number doesn't mean anything to you, that is a crap ton. We could say the average vehicle on the road has maybe about 200 horsepower. We can actually go ahead and take a listen to this thing. Sounds aggressive. Chat GPT, you shouldn't have. Well, since we do actually have horsepower figures, let's see if Chat GPT can accurately predict the horsepower figures of this vehicle. Wow, okay. So it predicted the horsepower to be 550 and the torque to be 510. In the simulator here, it makes 580 horsepower and 458 foot pounds. So this is actually really, really close to being accurate. It kind of Almost seems like it knows what it's talking about, right? Spooky stuff. This engine actually performs pretty decent. Now it actually comes down to designing this car. What's it going to look like? Again, we've got those reference images to go off of. So viewers, hold please while I try to recreate ChatGPT's perfect design. All right, viewers, it wasn't easy to do. Here is the front of the vehicle. I know it's not the most appealing things in the world, but it has everything that ChatGPT wanted. You know, we've got the ultra futuristic uh, headlights, our hexagonal grill here with the fog lights incorporated into the grill. We've got our carbon fiber spoiler at the bottom here, just like ChatGPT wanted. We have our aero blade rims and again, that crossover SUV shape to the whole body, but still actually a coupe design, which is a two door. Oh, and yeah, the paint there. ChatGPT wanted the color changing paint, so this is the best we could do. This is like a pearlescent. And in the back here, we've got the futuristic taillights with the LED strip at the back. We even have a little GPT logo there. We've got the carbon fiber diffuser with the tailpipes actually interconnected into it. So yeah, I mean, this is this is pretty accurate to what ChatGPT wanted. But don't wait, there's more settings for the vehicle that ChatGPT needs to figure out. And here we can see the wild ChatGPT picking the most expensive possible options for this vehicle. Apparently, ChatGPT has no idea what it costs to live these days. Very consistent pattern, all sensible, reasonable options. And there we go, our final wheel setup has been decided. ChatGPT has also opted for probably the most aggressive brakes I've ever seen. ChatGPT already mentioned that this is going to be a luxury vehicle. All right, now finally moving into some of the steering controls and the suspension, which again, this all actually matters quite a lot to make such a high powered car drive well. We'll see if ChatGPT can figure this one out. I don't have high hopes. All right, and ChatGPT has finished its vehicle here with all the various settings. It all seems like it's gonna work out decently well. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with what ChatGPT came up with, but we won't truly know until we drive it. Service costs are around $4,000 per year, and it gets 23 miles to the gallon. Well, viewers, I think it is finally time that we take this thing on the road. And here is the vehicle that ChatGPT made actually realized in a simulator. So I gotta say, the paint definitely did not come through. Remember, ChatGPT wanted paint that changed colors like a chameleon. Well, that's just not possible. We got basic red paint now. I gotta say, it looks all right. It's not really a bad looking vehicle with no real mirrors. Instead, we got these little cameras there on the side. I don't know if you can see those in like the flush door handles, the cool looking rims there. Let's go ahead and uh, give this thing a drive here. Oh, oh, it's very, very quick. Okay, I see. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I already rolled it. Good Lord, ChatGPT, you made a death trap. This is a little frightening. In the cornering, uh, honestly, it's doing pretty decent in the corners, all things considered. I think ChatGPT had the right idea when it was trying to aim for that 50-50 weight distribution. Oh my god, this is scary. Can this thing truly put all the power down? Oh, come on. You got it. Oh, oh, man. 
Hmm. I would definitely say that there's something to be said for this experience at the moment. I think this might fall into the category of it's almost a little too fast to be considered safe. All things considered, this is definitely way better of a job than someone would be able to do with their first time in the simulator and the engine designer. Oh my god. Oh, into the tree, man. God, it just loves trees. Imagine seeing this jerk drive into town on this thing. You'd be so upset. You'd be like, please get out of my town immediately. All right, we gotta be fair to it though. How how good is it for just uh, around the town driving? Well, let's see, can we do a U-turn here? Hmm, does not appear that it's got the turning radius for that. Oh my God, it's so fast. It's so fast. Whoa, whoa. Come on, stay on the road. Ooh. I mean, without a doubt, safety is ChatGPT's number one priority. That is very, very clear, judged off of this vehicle. Definitely. That's why ChatGPT will make sure that you land safely in between the crevice of a boulder and a house. Check it out, guys. The ChatGPT car can actually do uh, donuts. Look at that. There you go. That's more like a donut. Whoa, swang in it. Oh, let's see here. You get a lot of speed here if you're on a dock and you want to go for a little swim. There you go. The components and everything have held up really, really well. It's well designed and it corners decently enough. It puts the power down all right. I guess you could say it's a little hard to control. I'm not going to lie. We're going to do a little crash safety test here. As you can see, we're in slow motion mode now. And now the thing takes off. And when I say this is a crash safety test, I really mean we're going to see how this thing handles a nice unstoppable force meets immovable object. How will it handle this? Oh my god, it's getting air. Oh! Everything is vibrating. And it just, um, essentially it has become a smart car. So yeah, you can literally see vehicle components sticking out of the front end of the vehicle. And it has been smushed into a little jelly bean. Interesting. So, uh, would the occupants inside survive that crash? That one's gonna be a little hard to tell. Hey, I will say though, the engine definitely survived. So now we're gonna see a super slow motion cornering test here. And so far it is, uh, losing traction for sure. Oh my god. Okay, we're getting some air now. The cornering is not going very well. Oh. Oh, we're gonna be rolling. We're gonna be- Oh. There is a tree there. This thing just, no matter what, it attracts the trees, I must say. Oh, man. It is very beautiful to watch. Is it going to survive that um, insane crash? Oh, oh my god. This, th this thing still drives. It doesn't drive very well, but... Hey, we can still get a lot of speed up there and jump curbs and stuff. Oh my god, look at the air! Look at this thing! It's a, just a soaring, beautiful bird. What a fantastic car. It still drives after all that, too. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. The, the chat GBT is made of steel. This thing is, this thing is stronger than your grandmama. It is just gonna keep rolling. It's gonna keep going no matter what. Never say never when you're driving the chat GBT vehicle. All right, let's do some off-roading. We'll start off with the easy stuff. Okay, we'll go down to this beach here. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Can we go over this little uh, water area? Oh, yeah. Not even a problem there. All right. Now, can the chat GPT car attack this rock here with the off-roading capabilities? Oh, we got We're just hitting the bumper on it, and it's just kind of spinning there. It's possible. Oh, we, we got the wheel up. Come on, chat GPT vehicle. You can do it. Oh, yes. Oh, it's going over it. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. Now I just have the middle of the car stuck there. Come on. Get there. Oh, yeah. Off-roading machine. Look at that. Oh, yes. Be free. Be free, my vehicle. Oh, there we go. Get out of there. Get unstuck. It's just hitting little rocks everywhere. Oh, my God. So yeah, not not necessarily an off-roader by any means. It really wants to be though. Look how excited it is to join uh, the rocky beach. Do a nice jump here. Slow motion. Oh, look at that airtime. The chat GPT vehicle is truly a work of art. Look at that. I, it really does want to be a bird, doesn't it? Oh, kind of a hard landing.
Let me know what your takeaways were from this experiment. I gotta say, this was a lot of fun for me. Be sure to check out the Discord channel for more AI-related things. We've got free AI access on there, among other things. And subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.